Hello everyone, you are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll tell you how to implement 2 is to 1 multiplexer and 4 is to 1 multiplexer using transmission gates. So, how transmission gate works, what are the symbols of transmission gate? I have prepared separate video for it and the link is given in the description box. But in short, I'll tell you, transmission gate is used to pass the signal and it gives a strong value of 1 as well as strong value of 0. Whereas when we use single NMOS or PMOS, it either gives a strong 0 or strong 1. PMOS gives a strong 1, NMOS gives a strong value of 0. So here, let's start with 2 is to 1 multiplexer. 2 is to 1 multiplexer means it has 2 inputs and 1 output so symbol of 2 is to 1 multiplexer is this it has two inputs d0 d1 and output is y and one input is select input the job of select input is to choose particular input out of d0 and d1 and pass that value to output side. So, multiplexer is basically a data selector. It simply selects input data and it passes that data to output side. So, truth table for 2 is to 1 multiplexer is S is select input, Y is output. When S is equals to 0, whichever value is present at D0, 1 or 0, it passes that value to output side. It means when S is equals to 0, it selects D0. So, Y is D0 and when S is equals to 1, it selects D1. So, Y is equals to D1. So, in this way our transmission gate works. So, we can write an equation for output Y as S bar D0 plus S D1. So, here you can see what we are using. We are using this one AND gate. One more AND gate. And here is we have OR gate. So, AND gate is nothing but NAND. AND is what? NAND plus NOT or Inverter. So, when we implement our circuit using CMOS, so for implementation of NAND using CMOS, we need 4 transistors plus for implementation of inverter, we need 2 transistors. So, to implement NAND gate, total uh, for implementation of AND gate, sorry, for implementation of AND gate, we need total 6 transistors. Similarly, for implementation of this AND gate, we need 6 transistors. And for this OR, we need 6 transistors. So, here we need total 18 transistors for implementation of 2 is to 1 multiplexer using traditional method or normal method where we can use AND gate and OR gate. For implementation of addition, we use OR gate. For implementation of multiplication, we use AND gate. So, so similarly, uh, just like this NAND plus NOT for OR, what we need to take is NOR plus NOT. So, here we need 18 transistors. Now, let's see how using transmission gate, we can implement same multiplexer using only 4 MOSFETs. So see, number of inputs are 2. Pass transistor can pass 1 signal at a time. So I have 2 inputs. To, so to pass these 2 inputs, I need to take 2 transmission gates. So I will draw 2 transmission gates here. See, these 2 are my transmission gates. I have connected D0 to one transmission gate and D1 to another trans transmission gate. I will simply connect outputs of these two transmission gates and here I will get output Y. Also, I will connect NMOS of upper transmission gate and PMOS of lower transmission gate. Now see, when S is equals to 0, I should get output as 
d0 so when s is equals to 0 my upper transmission gate must turn on so i will connect s here i'll connect s bar here and i'll connect s here now let's verify how this circuit works so s is equals to 0 what will happen because of s is equals to 0 s bar is equals to 1 and again s is equals to 0 so s is equals to 0 and s bar is equals to 1 so this p mos will turn on this n mos will also turn on it means transmission gate if this is t1 this t1 will turn on and if this is my transmission gate t2 then s is equals to 0 it means this n mos is off this p mos is also off so t2 is off so because t1 is on it will act as short circuit and whichever value is present at d0 will come to output side so y is equals to d0 similarly if s is equals to 1 when s becomes 1 s is equals to 1 <coughs> This S bar will become 0 and here S becomes 1. So, because of this 1, this N MOS will turn on. Because of this 0, P MOS will turn on. So, my T2 is on and because of this 1, P MOS is off and because of this 0, N MOS is off. So, my T1 is off. So, my D1 will come here. So, in this way, I can verify my truth table. Now, here you can see. I have used one P MOS, one N MOS, two transistors, P MOS, N MOS, two more transistors. So total transistors are only four. So here you can see the difference. Here number of transistors required are 18 whereas here number of transistors required are only 4. So in this way by using transmission gate we can implement circuit with less number of transistors. Now let's see how to implement 4 is to 1 multiplexer. In 4 is to 1 multiplexer we have 4 inputs D0, D1, D2, D3, 2 select inputs S0 and S1 and 1 output Y. So, truth table is when both inputs are 0, 0, S0 is 0, S1 is 0. For 0, 0, it will select D0 and it will pass the D0 to output side. For 0, 1, it will select D1. For 1, 0, D2 and for 1, 1, it will select D3. Now, see, we have 4 inputs. So, we need to take 4 transmission gates first. So, these 4 are 4 transmission gates. I will connect D0 to first transmission gate, D1, D2 and D3. So these three are, my, these four are my inputs. And I will simply connect this similar to my 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So this is 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So similar to this, I will connect these two terminals together. These two terminals together, these two are shorted together, these two are also shorted together. So here, what I'll connect? I'll connect S. If S is connected here, here comes S bar. See, we have now two select inputs, S0, S1. So we will start with S0, the least significant bit of select input S0, S0 bar. Here comes S0, then comes S0 bar and again comes S0. You need to remember in this way only. We always start with S, so select input, then inverted value of select input, we start with LSB, S0, S0 bar, S0, S0 bar, S0. Now, we have two outputs, but in 4 is to 1 multiplexer, how many outputs do we need? We need only one output. So, what we will do, we will take 
two more transmission gates and will connect them similar to this 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So, their enable pins I will short. Then these outputs will go to inputs. I will short their outputs and I will take final output from this point. So, this is final output Y. Here we started with S0. So, here we will start with S1. Here comes S1 bar and here comes S1. Now, let us verify working of this circuit. Let us verify any one condition. So, let us take uh, this condition 1 0. So, S1 is 1, S0 is 0, S1 is 1. So, S1 bar becomes 0, S1 is 1, S0 is 0, this becomes 1, here it is 0, here it is 1 and here it is 0. Now, let us see, because of this 0, this first transmission gate will turn on, because of this 1, 1 is connected to PMOS, this is off. Because of this 0, the upper one is on and the lower one is 0. So, what we will get here? We will get D0 here and this D2 will come here. Now, to stage 2, we have two inputs D0 and D2. Because of this 1, because of this 1, this PMOS is off and because of this 0, N MOS is off. So, this is off, no output here and here what happens because of this one this NMOS is on and because of this 0 PMOS is on so this transmission gate is on so D2 will come to this side so Y is equals to D2 similarly you can verify any one condition so in this way we can implement 2 is to 1 multiplexer or 4 is to 1 multiplexer using transmission gates so if you found this video useful do like it Share it with your friends and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.